you sleep well, Rich? <laughs> I'm always just, uh, just if you ask me that, if you ever ask me that question, just to put a no after it. Don't really need you to answer it. Yeah, no, you don't sleep well. Do you like James Bond music? Uh, oh, well, I'm sure it's lovely, but you always tell me off saying you can't have music on with your uh, with your videos. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Demonstrating this morning, auto blimp. Uh, yeah, we just, uh, you just it's just colder than the unit, ain't it? We don't want to be in there, so we're just <laughs> driving around, leave Jason I'm, to it. I'm not so sure that's necessarily the case, but we just testing the map features. Did like that a little valid mode test. Oh, I like it. Like it, so that's where it's actually limited to three and a half thousand RPM, ain't it? Yeah, just to stop some mongrel at a service station or a MOT station thrashing your car. Yeah, and yeah. And you, you leave it there, and they want to go and get the sandwich at the break time. Yeah, they. Because well, because people have lost their jobs for stuff like that, ain't they, Rich? I really have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> The sun comes out in an eating. It's pretty cold. Also today, I'd like to find a tiny little rear knock that I've got. Ten thousand houses on the outskirts of a town that was that was never designed for a road network was never designed for it, and they keep building houses and keep building houses and keep building houses, and all around you they keep building houses. They're building it, buy more farmland and put some That's more right, houses yeah. on it. Before you know where you are, you've got fifty thousand extra houses. Everyone has to have a job. Two people are per house. I've got a car, got to travel to work, and all of a sudden the road network can't cope. Everyone crawls to work, crawls home, and then they moan that you know. That, that, oh, there's too much traffic on the road. Well, there yep. will be because you, you've not you've not expanded the road network to cope with the amount of houses you've built around it. I mean, the long shoot was bad anyway. And then they built a McDonald's on the A5. That McDonald's on the A5 is ridiculous. On a Saturday, like you said, on Saturday, people were waiting to turn left and to right into it, and it was physically holding up the A5, a main artery on that particular stretch of road, and it was holding it up. Yeah. It was, there, no way that McDonald's should have been allowed to have been put there and certainly been allowed to configure itself. In Not that without way. a filter lane just yeah. for McDonald's. So, so that the filter lane so they pass. can go in and the, pass, the traffic can pass. You get an Arctic truck stuck behind someone that's waiting to pull into McDonald's. If they're sat there 10 minutes, that whole traffic does not move for 10 minutes, which is ridiculous. I know. 
I think uh, I think there's a, a stern email to my MP about that. I, I, I can't believe that that's allowed to happen. That they're physically allowed to obstruct that that main route like that on the A5 into the Dodwells. I mean, like you said, the queue, the traffic was queued up to the end of the long shoot. Yeah, and it was it was Saturday. it was the end of the long shoot into the Neaton, and it was the A5, and it was that road. Uh, the what's that called? The Northern Perimeter Road. Yeah, Northern Perimeter. All the way road. back past Triumph. Yeah, which is just ridiculous. Right. Because two people, because people are too lazy to cook their own lunch. Uh, well, no, come on, man. If you want a McDonald's, it's not it's not your fault that the the road system's buggered because of that McDonald's. You know, I like a McDonald's, me. I've got to think. Get a wife. Make her make you some dinner. Yeah, yeah. Don't sit in the McDonald's queue. Don't irritate me when I want to go for a blast on a Saturday afternoon. That's right, because driving is more important than eating. We all know that. It certainly is. We all know that. I'm just going to put it out there again that the, even the traffic on this little bit of road is appalling, isn't it? What, this bit of road? Yeah, just this little bit of road. Yeah, but come on. I mean, to be fair, this is an industrial estate. What do you expect? Everyone comes to work. They have to dump their car somewhere, don't they? I can live with this. I just, I just can't live with, you know, the decisions of the housing estates and everything that goes with it. I mean, more importantly, even if you think about things like, what about dentists? What about Doctors schools? Doctors and the schools. Doctors, schools. Things that, amenities that we actually need. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, because of, the obviously, the amount of, people that you're introducing into the area where do all those, how do those people get a doctor's appointment because i'm not being funny and i'll be brutally honest with you i can't get an appointment at my doctor's if you know if my arms and legs are just falling off yeah so there's no way you're getting it uh you know what i mean you this is going to go up that curb slowly slowly yeah go on it's up now i think nearly yeah, we're just touching we're just touching you live my knock now. No, you didn't. you definitely hear it if you came off. Well, there we go. That was our little morning, morning moan over. Yeah. Just want to try the last one. Can we just sit in the car with the warm for a bit? This little guy seems happy. That's security. Yeah. So what map am I in now? Two. Fantastic, Rich. Good work, mate. Mm. What should we do now? Suppose we go and power on that other FN2, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Let's go and see what power that's making. Uh, then it's got to have some power flex rear beam bushes put in it. Jason should have finished front brake time we've done that, I would have thought. Okay, let's go find out. Boy, I'll see you again. Light moves pretty fast.